ourselves to I know I know, Sp I know Spanish to defend their uh, territorial integrity and, and I would note Ukraine used to be the world's third most significant nuclear power they gave up over 1,000 nuclear warheads voluntarily and we committed to stand and defend them but sadly what we've seen instead is Russian aggression, Putin coming in, invading Ukraine. But Senator... And, and yesterday I sat down and met with President Poroshenko. All the members of the delegation did. Senator, I want to hear about that meeting, but, but just you mentioned the fact that you think that the German Chancellor is wrong. There seems to be a pretty significant rift here between uh, within the Western powers on how to deal with this. Do you think that the U.S. should just arm the Ukraine over the objections of the Germans? Well, look, they, there isn't a rift. I mean, what we're seeing is when America doesn't lead, Europe can't be expected to step into the breach. What is missing from this is the President of the United States. And I got to tell you, Dan, I'm part of a large bipartisan congressional delegation here, and it is striking that across bipartisan lines, the delegation is united on the need for us to get serious and provide defensive arms to Ukraine. But that's not going to happen as long as President Obama and his foreign policy team stands in the way. And you know what? Europe is not going to stand up as long as President Obama is not leading. And, and, and there are a lot of consequences to that. One of the consequences is that our allies up and down Europe are more and more nervous and more and more concerned that America won't stand with them. You know, we met with several heads of state throughout Europe who expressed very... And the Kurd from the administration to get that done. Instead, they continue to send weaponry to Baghdad, who doesn't pass it on to the Peshmerga, and it doesn't get put to use effectively. So you're saying that Lindsey Graham and even some in the Pentagon who apparently are considering about 10,000 U.S. troops on the ground, that would be a, a bad move? In my view, American boots on the ground should always be the last step, and we need to exercise other steps before that. We have the availability of overwhelming air power, and we have boots on the ground that are ready and eager to fight the Peshmerga, and they lack sufficient tools and equipment to do so. When we met with, with, with the president of Kurdistan today, he, he was pleading to allow him, allow the Peshmerga to effectively fight with us, but they need the weaponry to stand up to ISIS. You know, ISIS is using American military weaponry that they've seized against the Peshmerga, and, and it is not fair or right to expect them to fight for us without the tools to do the job effectively. Senator, I want to turn to uh, the, the plight of the U.S. aid worker, Kayla Mueller, who, of the United States, released five senior Taliban terrorists. There are now multiple reports that one or more of them have returned to actively fighting against Americans, trying to trying to kill Americans. It, it doesn't and make sense to, to negotiate with terrorists. And we need to understand the face of evil. You, you know, today, when we were meeting with the Kurds, they described the, the Yazidis who, who, who are being persecuted and targeted by ISIS, and they described how horrifically ISIS is using rape as a tool of warfare. And, and they described in particular one young Yazidi man who described how his mother, his wife, and his sister had all been kidnapped and raped. And this young man said, I have no reason to live anymore. I cannot comprehend the horror that has befallen me. And Senator, this is the face of evil, and we need to start behaving with the seriousness that recognizes it. And real quick, when I said negotiate, what I meant was what they want is money. They want ransom. And it is the United States policy not to do that. Families are very frustrated because they want to do whatever they can to get their kid back. As a parent, uh, do you understand that? Look, look, of course, we all understand the agony of the family. But giving money to terrorists that are using rape as a weapon of war, that are crucifying Christians, that, 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 that are crucifying and beheading children, giving money just buys additional arms for them to kidnap more Americans, for them to murder more, that doesn't make any sense. The answer is to have serious leadership to defeat them. And I'll note, one of the real risks we need to get serious about is the roughly 100 Americans that have gone over and taken up arms with ISIS. I've introduced in Congress the 
expatriate terrorist act that would provide that any american that takes up arms with isis against america loses his or her citizenship so that we don't have americans coming back with u s. passports after training with isis to to commit jihad and try to murder innocent americans back home senator we're going to take a quick break and when we come back we are going to talk about politics back home and believe it or not there is another potential shutdown of part of the government looming senator cruz is excellent go bigger go battle for fight Test out. I'm going to test out the spacing of that attack. We shall see if it works. And if it works, Papa's got a brand new bag of tricks. Getting the size or roll the other direction.
at 9.17. Okay. Nice. I'll play it for about 15 minutes, then I'll go, to, then I'll go, uh, then I'll go relax for a little bit. Let's try the sucker again. This isn't Tekken. Is he really scared to go online? Is that what? No. I don't think he's really scared to go online. I think he's just trolling us. Tells it. What the hell picture is that? Whatever. Okay, that's a given. Oh. Okay. Nope. Yeah, the connection is not good. Ooh. Whoops. Ooh. I'm going to do that again. Hello, Dr. Pepper. <laughs> 